Oh yes, reka ngusuze kandi mwifurize ibi byiza. Wowe gukunda ndetse no gukurikira ibiganiro bya Stories Magazine Rwanda. Gatano kuri gatano ni mwe mudu imbaraga zo kugira ngo ibi dukora turashaka kubikora neza cyane kandi aturishaho gutanga quality nziza umunsi ku munsi. Tugira content zigeze tanukanye uyu munsi turi muri social life aho twatembereye mu gisimenti na twagiye kureba abajene babiri baba lashya bahatuye turi kwibaza icyo bakora impamvu bari hano impamvu bavuye mu gihugu cyabo uko byari bimeze bari mu gihugu cyabo uko meze uyu munsi none bari hano ndetse no uryo ubuzima bwabo bumeze umunsi ku munsi turaganira kuri byinshi bigiye bitandukanye nizere ko nawe utari buze kurambirwa cyangwa se uri buze no kuryoherwa byisumbye binarenze nuko ndi kubitegereza this is a social life my name is me conscience ngiye tubana umunsi ku munsi mumaze kumenyera and this is stories magazine Rwanda we will kora subscribe no tarayikora ariko kandi barayikoze imana iguhe umugisha reka twinjye mu kiganiro tumenye byinshi bigiye bitandukanye hamwe naba bajene What's in Africa do you think we should move? Mm. Uh, I was like definitely Rwanda. It's very secure, it's very friendly with the family. Mm. Uh he said Rwanda is very intelligent people. Everybody speaks m- two three languages and mm. you know like in Russia you wouldn't have that. Like people would speak Russian. Yeah. And maybe uh, 100% of people can speak uh, English fluent or French. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a biggest struggle for for African people who might want to come to Russia because basically Russians do not know any other language except our own. Sure. Moscow, yeah. Moscow is much better, yeah. Sure. Even in capitals. In Moscow and in St. Petersburg, you, you can find people. It's not, not, not a big deal. Mm. But anyway, it's about 5% of people who can speak fluently. That's why it, it might be an issue. Oh. Yeah. And uh, and uh, when we moved around here, we also started to understand that uh, the uh, you have the uh, Latin, you use Latin for your alphabet, so it's pretty easy to learn the language. It's easier than in other countries to learn the language. And uh, the level of life here is really nice. Like a lot of the prices are similar to Russian prices. Like your meat might be more expensive, but then your avocas are like 10 times less expensive. So it's, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, there are a lot of things that are similar here. Uh, the minimum va- wage here is around the same one as you have in Moscow, in Russia, in not in Moscow, in Russia. Mm. So like a lot of things are very similar. Um, yeah, so to make a business here, it was uh, very similar to making a business in Russia. Uh, the taxes here are just as high, I think. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the and same. Uh, yeah, the reality here is pretty much like Russian. Like the only thing that you don't have is crazy snow all through the year, you know. And like you, when you walk through the uh, street, you're not afraid that the wind is going to take you away. But in general, it's really cool and nice. And it's and it's like it's the same in a lot of ways, you know. And having the good and uh, very warm climate, uh, it's uh, it's really you get used to it really fast. The only thing here that really sucks is malaria. But you don't get it often. You get it like I don't know. In these uh, two and a half years, I got it once, and that's because uh, I was stupid because I was sitting at night in my shorts outside feeding mosquitoes, you know. And now I'm. Sm- Smarter, yeah <laughs> but before i was like i'm i'm made of ice i don't care i'm a <laughs> russian it doesn't really work that way uh, he was sick with malaria two times in three weeks here by at the same time we were sick at the same time oh. so because we were stupid at the same time oh. we were like let's feed those mosquitoes you know mm. and uh, you have to live near the like kind of the lakes the 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 water you know like most rwandans they tend to live up on the hills here mm. so you are away from the mosquitoes because you're smart about it us we just came over and we were like you know where can we get a nice house oh that seems to be good mm. and we live around Yandungu which mm. is a very green zone in uh, Kigali mm. you got a lot of birds there mm. in the morning in uh, Russia you come out and you have some pigeons flying around mm. here you have hawks huge hawks going <laughs> ah, ah! <laughs> you know even the uh. your chickens in the morning they are not so loud because they're afraid of the huge freaking hawks flying in the sky and then mm. one time I was walking with the burger one of the clients he was like mm. he ordered a burger in another bar and I was walking with the burger and mm. as I was walking in the burger a hawk came down and just went like boom and tried to take the burger away from me yeah so it was really cool you know, <laughs> you have, uh, interesting mm. the, the nature here is very interesting okay so James you have a you have a wife and you have a children is yep I mean a children yeah so uh, how your wife reacted when you you tell you, you told the her I'm she's going a very supportive Rwanda. wife so she was like yeah let's go let's try it let's do this you know mm. she likes to she follows me a lot in life and i follow her so it's like this we have a nice symbiosis going on okay and so, generally when we when we came here uh, mm. first it was of course hard 
Uh. It's always hard. You move to a new place, it's hard. Mm. But we were ready for it, and um, mm. and uh, we assimilated pretty fast. Oh. I I move around the city. I just start talking in uh, Kenya Rwandan and uh, checking every shop you have and everything that you have. Going to all the ministries. I'm this kind of strange guy who just always bursts into the doors talking to people. And in Rwanda, you can do that. You can go into a ministry and you can you can talk to a minister mm. of in Nayeb who is like the big guy you know in yeah, Russia yeah, yeah. it's hard to get there even yeah you won't be able you you write letters they will not even read it sometimes mm. here you just come over you go sir can I come in can I talk about something he goes yeah yeah sure sure come over here what are you here for what are you doing you know mm. and you're like I was planning to do some coffee and oil business and he was like yeah sit down I'm gonna explain the situation and mm. it's really fast forward <laughs> and fast if you want to know something in Rwanda you can go and you can ask questions and it'll give you the answer yeah that is very good that is oh. very helpful so now we are seeing in Russia mm -hmm. and I want to ask you one, one question what are some common me misconception people have about your country or culture well nowadays one of the biggest ones is that we drink a lot yeah and we're raising bears we you know on our way to the nuclear but power you guys you drink a lot yeah. well you know i i can tell you that i see that the rwandan people drink the same way like russian people sure and, uh, we have we have uh same things in our culture we have same sauna cultures mm -hmm. in russia and here in in, in, in kigari in rwanda great, yeah. same bruschette culture but mm -hmm. we just call it differently we call it shashlik and we like don't have a pili pili so much we yeah. don't like the spice too yeah much. but like every every, every what is weekend pili -pindi? Pili -pili. oh pili pili come on yeah. oh oh i know that yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah sure? i know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. people love to, mm. to drink so every single weekend people trying to get outside or to get to the place where where they can grill some meat mm. make bruschetta or shashlik or whatever drink some enzoga have a good time mm. then go to sauna maybe even yeah mm. we are very similar in that yeah, mm. and very conservative we have a very conservative vibe like um, mm. there are a lot of similarities a lot of them like 90 percent and then there's this 10 percent which is radically different like russia uh, rwandans like to stare you know that yeah right no. mm. now we mm. russians also like to stare mm. the two of us yeah. before that in russia you were not allowed to stare at people you would stare at people they would be like what are you looking at <laughs> you want to come here we want to talk about you looking at me are you thinking about something criminal brother it's like this you know uh, yeah, here yeah, in yeah. rwanda we mm. at first it was crazy me and my wife we were like 10 motari stop over and they are looking at you and they're like mm. just looking at you oh. having a good vibe mm. having a good time <laughs> yeah. you know and they just stare and there's like mm. the more they sit stand there the more people come mm. and then you have like a theater of people mm. and you're dancing or doing something and everybody's looking mm. and we were like what the hell is going on <laughs> and then we were like uh, one of these people also now we're just standing with everybody else looking so yeah, yeah, yeah. we became <laughs> rwandans in a way mm. and then of course we tried all the food the you know it's so the mm. like we don't have the cassava mm. you know isombe isombe is my favorite food in rwanda we even oh. have the isombe burger here oh. a lot of rwandans they come they look at it and they're like uh okay uh let me have the normal cheeseburger please uh. i'm like you gotta try the isombe burger it's crazy good mm. no, no. Mm. but people try it they love it it's ah, good ah. isombe burger is really nice okay. and in general i know how to cook in isombe i cooked mm. in isombe for my guys they said you're a real rwandan mm. they even gave me a rwandese name mm. So there are some rumors that say that some of them they're looking so serious and sometimes they become straight i mean harsh yep yep it is oh. yeah we are harsh it, boris well uh, harsh? maybe it's related to the to the places we live uh, mm -hmm. i mean like for for the because the weather in our country is harsh and landscape weather weather yeah of course brother because mm. we have not, not three months of winter basically we have half of year of winter mm. and also it affects the landscape because like during winter season even even like uh, in during uh, autumn season and spring season mm. uh, landscape can be pretty depressing it's all filled only with gray colors and that's why uh, most parts of Russian culture I mean literature and, and other arts it's uh, about Russian uh, spleen about depression about how you uh, fighting your way in this life which is not easy and uh, how you struggle mm. Mm. maybe that's why uh, that's why Russian smile is for you know it's, <laughs> it's not a it's a rare case sometimes uh. but it's addressed mm. very honestly mm. well, but, but Boris have you done something in your youth and the, that, that thing you are regretting nowadays uh, <laughs> you know, actually, to to be honest, my principle of life is no regrets, mm -hmm. because I think uh, it's okay. It's okay to do mistakes because mm. we are human beings, mm. and if you did mistake, if you did a mistake and you regret it, it means that you are you screwed up. Mm. That's why I doesn't yeah, it doesn't mean that you don't have to uh, to change yourself, 
and you need to use your own experience to build yourself better. But I have no regrets. But nothing how that you Yeah, do you know why? Because all mm. mistakes I've done through my life led me to the to the points where I'm here now. And uh, I'm pretty happy now. That's why I think all mistakes that I've done, it doesn't matter how much pain mm. I went through, mm. it, it led me to the to, to the thing I have now. And that's why I'm, I'm good with this. Mm. No regrets, no regrets. <laughs> also to remind, uh, you reminded me about something. So about, you know, differences and stuff. Like, it's, it's, it's interesting, we never know why. You know, we're just chefs making burgers in Rwanda, you mm. know? So, but it's interesting. Uh, one lady, we were like chilling out and she was like, um, why are you so angry and why are you so stressed? And I'm like, because I'm hungry. I'm super hungry, I want to eat a horse. And she's like, strange. I'm like, why? She's like, when I'm hungry, I'm calm mm -hmm. and I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm like, when I'm hungry, mm. I am hyperactive and I want to kill someone. <laughs> and she's like, why? I'm like, because probably we have a lot of snow mm. most of the freaking months in a year. Mm. And like, you can't come and dig a potato out or take an ananasi or a, you know, pineapple or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So you got to kill something mm. to eat it. Because it's like, there's nothing growing around. Mm. You can't like go into the snow, get something out and eat it. So basically, you either go somewhere in your in your jeans is to go there somewhere and take it away from somebody. I go there and give out to get a grab like Kabanja Kufuga, Kuba Vie, Mulasha, Mamba Havue, Bakaza Mwanda, Sequit Chibaje. Look, even before you Kobaza Mwanda, but everybody over there was Moko, but I was able to be new to Kagani, Ragaho, Rio, Jam, Siaje, the ten we are Gamma Ganesha Boris, Akawaya and I'm Mwanda, won't even be a shock with the Nesa Changos of Zamoga or Shock of Guide in the Nes. So then I wrote to you, Kurkana Party to two that tea. Nichi, like, what is Mwanda? Kuchiba is a Mwanda, you did come as a Kuyumba, of course. I got you Kurti, a similar as a Kujam Mwanda was Moga, where we may say, Senichiba, Zayisha Mwanda, Nichiba to Zanier, Nakaka Sheva Fit, several Kurti Musanone, young Bobo, young Midian, where you are supposed to be, and I was a Sureo. Yeah, that was my questions with Yokano, Kanokanya, wanted to Kumfa, it's your Bobby to hear home. Stay touch. So Boris is going to the gym, yeah. yeah. We need to have him his muscles and eat his proteins, otherwise he's gonna kill us all. Mm -hmm. So this is the beautiful team of uh, uh, Burger Bros. Yes. We have a huge team actually, it's over 15 people working together, but everybody's made busy making burgers. Yeah. And these guys are having a good time because the because our ventilation is being installed right now currently. It's Kevin, Patrick and Jimmy. Emmanuel uh, Singimana. Uh, Singimana? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, Patrick yeah. Tutier, Tutier, yeah. <laughs> and Kevin Songa. It's, me, it's, uh, it's uh, Emmanuel. It's Emmanuel, yeah, yeah, but Emmanuel, Jimmy. Yeah. We call him Jimmy because that's that's the way he. When I first came to Rwanda, I was like, he was working in a place called Piponi, and I we were uh, we were eating there, and I was like, can you call me your traditional Isombi? And uh, and and the cooks near him were like, but we don't have the Isombi, we don't have the cassava leaves, and he's like, it's okay, yeah. I'll cook it for you, chef. Yeah. And then he ran somewhere, he took some grass, which was clearly not the right grass. You're not supposed to use that grass. <laughs> he put some umwenya into my zombie. That was and that's how we story. fell in love, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, it was tasty. Yeah, it was perfect. It was, it was yeah, good, yeah. good. You yeah. like it? Yes. I'll good. make it's it the next time if you want. Huh? It's Patrick. Patrick is, yeah, he, he joined us a little later. There was also one guy called Shimiman. He came over. He's like, I'm from Goma and guys, I'm here in Kigali. Let's go. Let's work. I'm like, let's do this. And we taught them a lot of stuff, how to flip burgers, how to make those sauces, how to make all those beautiful, good things. Mm -hmm. And now we're all together here, uh, cutting up things, frying up things. Kevin is a beautiful guy. I met him over in the center of Kigali. I was chilling, he was hustling, and he was like, bro, how can I help you? I was like, damn, your English is so good, and you're so mm. smart. Let's go, let's work together. Uh -huh. and yeah, the, and, uh, and the last one, the baddest. Yeah, that's that's Kevin. The that's Kevin. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> And Kevin, Kevin is, uh, yeah, he's, we started off with Hassan and Jimmy mm. and Boris and mm. Hassan is not here today because mm. he's, uh, you know, he's uh, hustling around, he's cementing somewhere, it's his day off. He really loves women, so we can't, we can't stop him from running away from us all yeah, the yeah. time. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah, and women love Hassan. You know, ladies, come over, man. I don't know. I don't know what they find, man. He's, he looks like he's Serge Ginsburg. He reminds me of Serge Ginsburg. Like, uh, yeah. But also you have a girls. 
Yeah, and you, yeah, we have beautiful women. We have Sharon, we have Dina, we mm, have uh, mm. uh, beautiful Athena from Gabon working with us. And uh, I saw everybody's her. doing a great job. Everybody's enjoying life. You guys are enjoying life? Yes, wow. yes, yes, of course. Okay. Yes, but, sure. Yeah, mm. of course. They would never say the opposite because <laughs> I would kill them. No? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> in Russia, in Russia, actually, we say da. Da, da. Yeah. Da is you speak Russian. Yeah, in Russian. Yeah, we, we got him a few. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you Yeah, I can't even say hi, привет. And mm -hmm. you can also say a lot of bad words. Sushka. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even know. No, that is very good. I'm gonna use this one. Good, good, good Russian. Okay. Mm. So, oh, like, uh, in the first part, you told me that you come in, in Rwanda, and you told me the reason, and you told me, you told me the uh, life you lived there. And you uh, told me why your your friend came here, uh, Boris. Uh -huh. And then now we are coming back with you with you and your uh, business, mm -hmm. Baga Bros. Mm -hmm. And there is what we are talking. We are going yep. to talk about. That's us. Yeah, and I'm with your tiger, tigers. Yeah, uh, we yeah. are. Tigers. <laughs> we're having a good vibe here. We're all together. We're a big team of brothers. We're yeah, getting yeah. good money because we have good customers. We rely on our customers. Mm. It's very easy. People yeah. are like, yeah. actually, we are. We, we make a good things. Like um, when someone came here, like. And he or she test things that we met, like it's story, it's story, it's, it's story to tell. Like I go somewhere and I test a food, a real yeah. burger, a real burger. Yeah, that's what we do. Uh, we make people um, love us not only because of um, what we do, the sweetness of uh, the burgers, uh, also the the friend, how we friendly, how we. Uh, how we take care of them and stuff like that. Um, the vibe, the vibe here is crazy, and uh, yeah, Kismet is real fun, bro. I tell you, this guy speaking like a brand ambassador. The yeah. business. <laughs> no, no. The manager is the face. He's yeah. One of the faces of Burger Brown. Yeah. yeah. So it's like this. So James, you had many ideas of what what you can do in Rwanda, but why did you choose a uh, Burger Bros? We had a similar place in Russia, so Burger Bros was kind of you know our thing. We're doing it, and we're chefs. We know a lot of things. We can cook all kinds of food. Like I worked everywhere in Chinese, uh, Asian food, whatever. I was working in Middle Eastern. He says it's all in the sauce, right? Yeah. It's all in the sauce. It's all in the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> See. So means that if you most of your clients are coming from Rwanda or are Rwandan, means that you have to knock in Rwanda. We, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Know. they, get, they teach me everything. Yeah, James yeah. Makuruma. Hey, Nimeza boss. Mezeneza. Amakuru Nimeza. Mezeneza, you say Mezeneza. Yeah, to give me no take. What do you cook? Ah, I cook mugati ruminyama. Yeah, that's all. Bizambi muri kigali. You know, we take on the yeah. muzungu papa changu. Yeah, fucking no. Yeah, there you go. Yes. I also fuck around with the Mutari a lot. They stop and I go, hey, Miro, I, 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 like, Mutari comes by and I'm like, Mutari, way! And he's like, okay, what's yeah, this guy? And then he's like, Miro, Mutari, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And he's like, the cheese is king of Rwanda. And I go, yeah, what the cheese is king Oh, no, no, it doesn't work. It was the other way. See, I'm still bad at this. I'm still bad at this. Uh, actually, he runs king of Yeah, that's so all. First, like, yeah. Yeah, he's good at running everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can you talk even your your client uh, in the in Rwanda only? Uh, well, I can tell him like Murasha Kaichi in Shuti Mirai. He goes, uh, that's he goes baga. I go nachiwaza. I go guys, make baga, please. Baga zingai. Zingai. Ah, yarimwe or kabibiri. Yeah, ibiri. Ibiri baga. Ibiri, ibiri jurme. Baga, baga we igurangai. Huh? Nangai baga. Man, this is an exam. What are you trying <laughs> to do here? Okay. Like, how much? Ah, if you want to be done, yes. Oh, if you want to be done, then we're gonna turn the ferrite into ketchup. That's yeah. all. Yeah. And Time now. out. It's time to. It's cut. Really. <laughs> Customers, customers are gonna wait. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, we're well, like these customers. They are like, oh, guys, come. They always <laughs> need to come to, to get a oh. bite. Yeah. It's time to come, guys. Yeah, it's, it's time to go. Let's go. Come. Sharon yeah. is calling us. So. It's time for work. See Let's go. Again. Let's Thank go, guys. guys. Bye bye. Time for you guys. You should come over to try, yeah. So <laughs> go, 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 go. Marketing is done. My marketing is done. Mm. Yo, yo, the big man, the one and only. <laughs> His name is James. What's up, everybody? Uh, how are you doing, brother? We're good. We're good. Okay, and you're speaking in Rwanda. Yeah, good. That's just a king around the <laughs> um, So we have been talking about uh, your lifestyle before you came in Rwanda, and uh, we talked about when you arrived here. 
uh, and you, you tell us about your business. And now you tell us, when some people want to visit your business, how can he, he or she reach out to your business? Oh, it's very easy. You come to Kismenti and you ask anyone here, where are Muzungu Muchoma? Mm. And they show you, they just show you how to come here. We're on Kismenti, KG 115 Street House Number 1, uh, Amahoro Village Complex. And we have our little food court here. And uh, yeah, we're here every day. Guys, come over, you always find us. This uh, is our life, we live here. Uh -huh. Like, uh, it's very easy. People are like, uh, you know, how do you get along with your business? It's very easy. We make the food, the customers bring the money, they get the food, they eat, they're happy, and we're happy. It's like this, it's really simple. Yeah, 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 sure. So, uh, I'm asking myself, do you have any other business that uh, are you doing right now? Yeah, I uh, initially came here to do the distribution for coffee and uh, from oils Maya? from Russia. Yeah, but nowadays there's a little problem mm -hmm. uh, with the transportation. And mm. uh, basically we went into another kind of business, which was initially what we were doing in Russia. Mm. Uh, yeah, and uh, we just opened the restaurants really quickly. Um, first of all, we started me and Boris outside on the street with Hassan. Uh, we were cooking uh, like just umuchomas on the streets uh, and then people used to stop and be like, where are you guys from? Why are you cooking? Mm. And we were like, because we're chefs. It's what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, uh, slowly by slowly, everybody tried our food. Slowly by slowly, I start to yeah. speak like <laughs> a local guy. Eh? <laughs> and uh, yeah, and everybody tried our food and they were really uh, surprised by how good it is. And uh, we enjoy that too. So we were like, yeah, this is going to work. Mm. And we started to making a lot of different dishes and nowadays this is what we are and we grew really fast because we were we take employees pretty fast and we teach them really fast what we are supposed to be doing our way mm. and then overall we have a huge team of guys and girls who are really good at what they do mm. um, yeah most of them they're uh, Rwandese um, mm. and then we have one beautiful princess from Gabon mm. and it's all really going really good so far so good uh, we're a big family mm. uh, yeah so, so James, while we are heading to the end of this show, uh, let me ask you one thing. So do you follow the Rwandan show business? The Rwandan show business? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I can, I have, yeah, I hear a lot of songs mostly, so mm. there's a favorite one, it goes, Tuza, you know that one? <laughs> <laughs> By Mike Kaihura. Yeah, I guess so. Uh -huh. And then I really enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed your guy uh, who says Malaika. Malaika. You know, Malaika. Yeah. Uh, he unfortunately he, he died. Passed, he passed away. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. very sad. I really uh, liked his music. He was, was really talented. Bravan. Really talented I guy. I love Malaika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to sing a lot. Do of you know the meaning of Malaika? Angel. Yeah, oh, angel. Okay. So can you sing one of them? Uh, it's, 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 a little bit. Uh, you know, Ma Malaika, I can sing, but it's like, you know, Malaika, mm. Malaika. Mm -hmm. no, it's not. I can't sing that much. Uh, I need to get my Kenya Rwandan better. Uh, I like the traditional Rwandan songs mm. about the farmers and the uh, and Fire? everything. The farmers and the firemen. Farmer, farmers, farmers. Oh. About the farmers. I had, I heard, I have some, I heard some uh, farming songs and okay. they, they're, pretty, they're pretty cool. Mm. Apart of Mike Kayola and uh, Eva Bravan, do you, know, do you know any other artists in Rwanda? I have a problem with memory in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I listen to a lot of music, like uh, Rwandan music. I listen mm. to a lot of it. I dance to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't remember the names of the uh, of the artists mm -hmm. that much. But you know the. But it's gonna happen. Mm, but you know there are some songs uh, from uh, Russia. Some Russian songs. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. I know we are not getting what you are saying, but can you please give us a cappella? An a cappella? Yeah. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Come on, I'm not a singer, I'm a chef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Don't worry. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, uh, uh, I don't know, we've... Uh... No, let's not do this, come um, on. I love it, you don't want... Uh, let's not do this, because I, I, just, I, I can't, I don't remember like any song right now. Russia a lot. Soy is a beautiful artist uh, from oh. a brand called Kino. Kino oh. is cinema. Oh. So we had those guys during the Soviet Union. Oh. And then uh, he was a pretty good singer, a really famous one. A lot of people know from all over the place. Oh. It's going down? Oh, no, 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 no. It's switched on. on. It's switched on, yeah. Yeah, 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 that was it. You don't, you don't want to sing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. 
it goes like uh, there is a song about a pack of cigarettes and it goes like <laughs> it goes like that uh, if you have a pack of cigarettes in your pocket it means uh, life is going to be okay and it goes like если есть кармане пачка сигарет значит все не так уж плохо на сегодняшний день и билет на самолет с серебристым крылом что взлетая оставляет земле лишь тень сигур ван Paying interest to us, it's all that matters. You know? We have a story, and we want to share that story, and we can't share it if we don't have you around. So it's really nice that you came over, that you gave me the opportunity. Yes, ni Boris in the Tina Jams abalala shi abaje kuibira mu gihugu cyacu cy'u Rwanda and it's uh, Boris already akabana fite umukunzi aho bibabana no mu gihugu cyacu cy'u Rwanda ndetse akabateganya yuko bazaba banashyingiranwa bakaba umugore numugabo right reka ngushimirira wowe wafashe umwanya wawe kuva ku munota wa mbere kugeza ku munota wa nyuma ukareba ikiganiro nizere ko cyakuryohiye ni I mean nizere ko tigize uba board nizere ko ibintu byari bimeze neza cyane gatano kuri gatano ni byinshi rutwagiye tuganiraho ni byinshi twagiye tugaruka aho atubwira uburyo yavuye muri mu gihugu cy'u Russia atubwira uburyo ibintu bitameze neza mu gihugu cy'u Russia bitewe n'intambara iri hagati y'u Russia na Ukraine atubwira uburyo yaje mu gihugu cy'u Rwanda atubwira uburyo umugore we yahakunze atubwira ibintu byinshi bigiye bitandukanye uburyo babayeho uburyo abakiri ababona ni mpamvu batangiye business ya Baga Bros uyu munsi none nakabari bari gukora alright twaganirira no nabakozi babo ndetse tureba imibanire yabo ababanye gute nabakozi babo ese iyo batari mu kazi nabwo bameze bite niyo bari mu kazi biba bimeze bite ni James ndetse na Boris abalashi abaje kwibera mu Rwanda ndetse bakanavuga bati twebwe nta gahunda dufite yo gusubira mu Russia ya dufite gahunda yo kwigumira yo kwigumira mu Rwanda tukahaba tugatuza tugatenga mala this is stories magazine in Rwanda tubagira mu ngunzi zigeze zitandukanye hope you call next time tuzabazana n'ibindi byinshi bigiye bitanoga ntwani cyo muri comment utubwira uko ubyumva uko wibona icyo wifuza ejo twazagarukaho ndetse n'ibindi byinshi ubona dushobora kuba twakunyira amase cyangwa se ibyo dushobora kuba twahindura nitwe confidence as you know me nje tubana gatano kuri gatano muri content nyinshi zigeze tanukanye and this is stories magazine make sure you already subscribed to our channel god bless you